it means that in the middle of the year, when the legislature at times has been forced to cut programs, affect the schools, uh, bring uh, real uncertainty and confusion and chaos, we now have the money in this operation to stabilize the operations of the state of Ohio, which should really result in our local communities and our school systems being in a much have much more confidence about the future. Um, it is just fantastic. So uh, we also are going to use some of the overage of this rainy day fund to do some very important things, which is to make sure we're adequately, adequately prepared for emergencies. As, as you know, we just went through a, a very volatile weather situation, and uh, we've been through that over the last two and a half years. And uh, these things cost money, and it is great to be able to fill that a bucket of emergency operations so that we can be in a position to pay for those. And, um, and of course, having to pay the interest on the unemployment comp is another one of the costs. But in addition to that, about half of this uh, overage that we have in the surplus fund will go to jumpstart our tax cuts. I cannot stress how important these tax cuts, these tax cuts are. We will now see an income tax down to about 5.3 percent. It's not good enough, but it's absolutely in the right direction. And I have a commitment from the leaders to continue on tax reform to bring those numbers down. Let me just explain to you that I speak to a lot of CEOs, and they want to know about the regulatory environment. They want to know about the tax environment. They want to know about the uh, education of our children. They want to know about the general attitude of the government vis-a-vis -vis their business operations when they make an investment. These tax cuts will not only spur economic growth, the small business tax cut is unique, I think, in the country. Other states will look at this. And lowering that income tax, those marginal rates, and including creating an earned income tax credit, it's going to have a very positive effect on the economy in the state and give me another tool in the toolbox of selling Ohio. Because all of you that are here today, I am very confident that if we keep moving in the right direction, Ohio can become the best state. And to be able to tell people that we went from an $8 billion hole to a billion and a half dollar surplus and to have tax cuts for small business and for, uh, and for individuals when they look at Washington and so many other states that have failed to deliver this, they want to know why it's happening. And frankly, so does the national press. They're just in here for, I don't know, three, four, five days. Am I right, Lynch? I mean, just in here studying Ohio. Today I'm going to do, do a television today uh, uh, with Neil Cavuto talking about Ohio, uh, various publications talking about Ohio. It's kind of, it's the Ohio comeback. And in many ways, it's an Ohio miracle to go from $8 billion to now this kind of a surplus. This happens because of the great stewardship of the people who work for you, too, Tim. We ca I cannot discount their hard work. I deeply appreciate the fact that you spend time uh, here when you could have more time with your family, more time for leisure, getting the job done. Now, Tim's going to drive you hard. I want you to rest. Okay, I want you to take some time off and recharge because we have a number of additional items that we are in the early stages that we're working on to continue to move the state forward. We're not going to rest. I was saying to Tim, how's Chris Whistler's attitude? He says it's great because he wants to be part of change and we have to continue to deliver that change in exciting ways. So. Don't think we're just going to rest and, and slide. We're going to be even more aggressive in order to keep moving Ohio where we want it to go. So, 89 cents to a billion and a half dollars, uh, protection against disruptions, which can always come, uh, the creation of jobs, leading the nation, uh, job growth, transforming Medicaid. All these things are adding up to, in our part, working with our partners in the legislature, it's really, really good news. And many of the times, what I've been finding is they do surveys, and a lot of people who are in the media think the public feeds off the negative. Sometimes the public needs a nice little appetizer or a nice little dessert that is involved in the positive. 
And this is fantastic news for every single Ohio family, every single Ohioan should be proud of what has been accomplished today. 